Okay, so let's say that you need to change a blade on your coping saw. So this is your coping saw, and here is a blade. Uh, on the coping saw blade, there are these little notches that you can see right here, and those little notches get put into, into this little notch here, and it kind of goes up, and that holds the notch in place, and there's both at the top and the bottom. The bottom one doesn't move, or the one near the handle, I guess it depends if you hold it this way, that would be the top. Um, the one near the handle doesn't move, so you put the blade in there first. Now, it depends on how you like to cut. So if you're going to be cut, uh, on the side and you wanna go this way, you can have your blade pointing down in the direction that you wanna saw. If you wanna have your handle up near the top, you might wanna have the blades pointing down so that your downward motion um, is facing that way. Whatever way you want to hold the coping saw for the downward motion, make the blade point in that direction. So right now, my blade is pointing downward, and I'm going to have the handle be the bottom. So I'm going to I'm going to put the pegs, slide them in. You can see there's like a slit that the blade goes into, and then the pegs kind of go into the center line them up to go in there and then the blade if you pull it up toward the ceiling it's kind of stuck in there and it won't come out but if you push it down and slide it forward it will come out so hopefully you can kind of explore that now to do the <clears throat> to do the top one or the one that loosens the ones away from the handle so you have to do the one that doesn't move first and then you have to do the other one that same way but as you can see my there's tension on it. So you have to bend this, this thick part till you line up the peg with the slot that it goes into. So what I like to do is I like to take the metal piece and I put the handle down on the outside. So now this is resting on the table. And then I put my hand and I stand up so that I can push I can actually bend this down so that the pegs line up. So I've got a, the, the slots facing forward. My hand is on here and I'm going to, it takes a little bit of effort. So I'm gonna push down and then I'm gonna guide the pegs. Whoop, I'm getting a little wobbly. Might take a couple times for you to get the right balance. So you push it down until the pegs line up, push it in there and then the tension holds it in place. Just be careful when you're pushing it in that you don't slide and cut your hand on the pointy blades. <clears throat> so hopefully you can see that the pegs slid right into the slot and so now my blade is in here. Again, the blade is pointing down toward the handle um, and so that's how you change it out. Now, if you break the blade by accident, it's not the end of the world. I did provide an extra blade, I believe, and um, so you can just, if it did actually break, you don't need the pressure to take it out. Um, so I'll take it out, I'll just push this down, slide that out, and it just comes right out. So if, for example, your blade broke, um, it might be dangling there, you just push it up and slide it out, those little pegs. If you have any questions or need help, don't forget to ask, I'm here to help you. Um, <clears throat> and again, if you also, if you wanted to change the direction that you're cutting, you could always take the blade out and put it back in. So just be careful. Don't get cut. And good luck.